Lazier being careful comes back to the green flag. Green and white at the same time. One lap to go. Two and a half miles and the idiot's running to the Indy 500. Buddy Lazier screams down toward turn one. Jones doesn't seem like he can make a move on him. Jones still looking for a chance to move. He's trying to get around Jordan. He's around him now, in contact with the leader. The third turn, one to go in Indianapolis. Buddy Lazier taking a look at the fourth turn, comes out the fourth corner. And the checkered flag lies just ahead as Buddy Lazier takes the checkered flag and wins the Indianapolis. 500 Firestone's first win since 1971 and and a crash on the finish big crash on the finish of the race Salazar looks like Sam Pedri and Guerrero the cars that were running fourth fifth and sixth all crashed together at the end of the race and Salazar looking down at his feet to make sure they're okay. So, a battle that was developing, really for fourth place. There's the two participants in the uh, in the battle that aborted itself just before the finish. Has Buddy Lazier? What an incredibly great victory! He takes his win at the Indianapolis 500 mile race. Here are the unofficial results as Buddy Lazier has taken the win. This man thinks he's just pledged undying love for his girlfriend Midge. He hasn't. He also thinks he's tasted new Miller beer. He hasn't. Brand new Miller beer. Say ah, not duh. Look for the red label. First, Goodyear revolutionized wet traction design with AquaTread. Now, Goodyear brings you the first tire with a lifetime tread life warranty. New all-season InfiniTread. With high tensile steel belts and space-age molecular compounds, InfiniTread is so durable, its tread is guaranteed for as long as you own your car. For traction, for tread life, for as long as you own your car. New Goodyear InfiniTread. The first tire with a lifetime tread life warranty. Call 1-800-GOODYEAR for a location near you. This man thinks he's just won the lottery. He hasn't. He also thinks he's tasted new Miller beer. He hasn't. Brand new Miller beer. Say, ah, not the. Look for the red label. Some of the most admired cars you'll see are owned by the guys who know cars best. ASC Certified Master Mechanics. And the number one brand of motor oil they use in their own cars is Valvoline, makers of Durablend, the leading semi-synthetic for a cleaner engine due to better control of harmful deposits. So use the oil the guys who take care of your car use to take care of theirs. People who know, use Valvoline. Come play the new Valvoline racing game on the net. the bowling, sweating in the sun, felt like a million, felt like number one, like a rock. Chevy has crossed the finish line first more than anybody in NASCAR truck racing, like which makes packing up after a day's work a lot easier. running of the Indianapolis 500. This special presentation on ABC's Wide World of Sports brought to you by Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. New Miller Beer, the brand new beer from Miller with big flavor that goes down easy. Goodyear, number one in tires. And Valvoline Duraplan, the number one selling semi-synthetic motor oil. Here in Victory Lane, the hallowed grounds of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Buddy Lazier racked with pain, trying to lift himself right out of the car, getting the congratulations of his crew. Remember, his back looked like a hard-boiled egg smashed on the ground, so many fragments after the terrible crash at Phoenix. But his father came up and was the first to congratulate him. 
another second generation driver. His father qualified here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but now his son has found his way to winning the 80th running of the Indy 500. It's a slow process for Buddy Lazier, and I think we might literally have our first interview with the driver still sitting in the car because it is indeed so painful. Buddy, finally, a win in the Indianapolis 500. When did you begin to dream about this? Uh, before I can remember, uh, it's just, it, right now, it, hard, it still feels like a dream. It feels like I'm gonna wake up and I need to go to the racetrack to get ready to race. Well, let's conclude the rest of the dream with the ceremonial crowning of you as you stand up. You can see the pain, but this is happy pain as the Borg Warner Trophy has been placed behind Buddy Lazier and now the winner's wreath. Young man, you join an elite group now as a winner of the Indianapolis 500. Yeah, I'm sorry. Welcome to the Indy 500 Winner's Circle. So it's awesome, awesome. Is it sunk in yet? You're awfully low key right now. I, one would think you'd be really genuinely excited and you're just kind of standing here with a big smile. No, it hasn't sunk in. It's not going to sink in for I'm sure a week or two. It's unbelievable. When you came here and saw your father compete and qualify, and I know you've got the pain, so sit back down in the car. This is truly an athletic achievement, but when you saw your father qualify, did you ever think that you would actually win the race? I don't know, you know, you dream about it and you feel like, like, like you've got some ability, but you have to have a car like, like these guys, Himmelgarn Racing, Delta Faucets, and Montana gave me a great race car. Well, congratulations. Celebrate now with the ceremonial swig of milk, and let's go back to the tower. His first IndyCar win, and it's the one that counts, the Indianapolis 500. But as he was crossing the finish line, taking the checkered, Roberto Guerrero lost control. Spins there and he gets up into the Look at Sam Pedri. Whoa, I've never seen that red car get up like that. Into the fence, he's upside down still right there. Now he hits Salazar, he's still upside down and it flips him back over. Unbelievable, unbelievable accident right there. Another look at it. Here comes Guerrero, oh, he, just, he loses it. He just loses it, whoa. whoa. Up so high over the top of the camera. And those two guys were, look at that. The force and that just took those unbelievable accidents. Now that hit on the fence by Zampedri flipping upside down was unbelievable. This is from Salazar's car. Roberto loses it down to the left. Comes across. Look at that. Salazar literally goes under it. Like him duck. Did you see Unbelievable. Him duck? He ducked his head. Drives under it and then is hit from behind, but that hit puts him right side up. Let's go to Gary Gerald. Davy Jones finishing up an interview here with the Speedway Radio Network. Davy, I've got to ask you about this situation when you come so close to winning this great race. Are you bitterly disappointed or are you satisfied with a great second place finish the best of your career here? Well, I'm, I'm ecstatic, you know. I mean, to finish second place is just phenomenal here at Indianapolis. Uh, you know, yes, I'm disappointed because, you know, I, the whole Delco Electronics, Gallus High Tech team, they did a phenomenal job all month, and we really controlled this race, and I think that, that it was our race. I only made one mistake, you know. I, I tried to get by Alicio Salazar on the start, and he stuffed me along the wall on the pit straight away, and it knocked the balance of the car out a little bit that we worked all race to get there for the end. So I just tried to make the most of what we had, and, and uh, you know, my congratulations to Hamelgard and, and uh, Buddy Lazier. Thanks, Davey. Jerry? Take a look at the aftermath behind me of that final lap crash involving three cars. Roberto Guerrero's car, what's left of it, has ended up on pit road. We have been just talked to John Barnes a moment ago, and Barnes is told us that Guerrero is okay, and we have been told that uh, Zampedri has uh, a wrist and leg injury and will be taken to the care center. And also they said Salazar has been taken to the hospital to be checked out, but uh, thus far we have no confirmation of any serious injuries up here as yet. Boy, that's, that's terrific news. Now, as the celebration goes on in the uh, victory lane here at Indianapolis in front of the master control tower, should there be any change in any of those reports that we've given you on Salazar or Guerrero or Sam Pedri. We will come back and give you an update on that during the skins. Now here's the TM8 engine treatment race summary at the conclusion of the race. Buddy Lazier takes his first win at 147 miles an hour. Not nearly a record. That still belongs to Ari. Five different leaders, 15 different changes, 10 caution periods, and that's not near a record either. 
but it sure contributed to the running of the race. And at the finish, we had 13 cars still running in competition. And the final result.